tabernacles. You see that? It's repentance. You put away iniquity from your life, from your family, from your tabernacle. What will follow? Verse 24. I'm waiting for you. Are you there? What's the first word there? There. After that repentance, after that turning, I see beauty coming upon your life. Then shall thou lay up gold as dust. Poverty is gone. The gold of offer as the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense. And thou shalt have scarcity of silver. Thou shalt have plenty of silver. Put your hand in your pocket. If there is nothing there now, God will fill up that pocket. In your pause, there's something, there's nothing there now. God will fill that pause. That card, put it in now. And then as you put it in, ah, I thought money was there. I am sorry. You will not be sorry again. Plenty is coming there. You see, the people that do not repent and they are staying far away from God, they are hurting themselves. But the people that repent, the people that turn away from sin, times of refreshing will come upon your life. It says, Thou shalt have plenty of silver. Verse 26, For then thou shalt have thy delight in the Almighty, and shall lift up thy face unto God. Verse 27, Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him. What will happen? And he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Verse 28, read it yourself. I said, read it yourself. You know, it, 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 you, are now, you are now the one to make the decree. Enemies will not make a decree in your life. Satan will not make a decree in your life. What do you want? What are you asking for? What are you looking for? How do you want your life to be? God is giving you a fresh sheet of paper. And he's saying, whatever has happened in your history, look at everything that has happened in your life. That one, cancel that one. Cancel that one. Cancel that one. Turn the paper. That paper now is fresh and free and neat. Write whatever you want. How do you want your life to be? How do you want your tomorrow to be? How do you want your destiny to be? It says, write it. And then at the end, sign your name. I take it as a decree. It will happen. I said it will happen. Wipe away those tears. Because you are crying because of the past. And that past is cancelled. You are crying because of the sorrow of the past, the pain of the past, and the evil of the past, and the agony of the past, and the enmity of your enemies of the past, hostility of the past. Look at me, look at me. We are not looking at you like yesterday now. Cancel that thing. Because, verse 28, thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. I thought the people of God will say, Amen. The beginning. Today is the beginning of the times of refreshing from heaven. Point number two. In point number two, the blessing of true repentance from the heart. 
that's the important thing now. You know, some people say, I've repented, I've repented. I don't know why the times of refreshing are not there. I will not contradict you, but I will show you what repentance is, and then you'll be able to measure it yourself. If you have not repented well in the past, by yourself, today, you're going to bring forth true repentance in anticipation of the refreshing time that is coming upon your life. We're looking at Joel, Joel chapter 2. In Joel chapter 2, I read from verse 12. Verse 12, therefore, also now, says the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Turn to me. That's repentance. And it says, not in your mind, not in your thought, not like a proposal, not like a future thing. Do it from the depth of your heart. Verse 13, rend your heart, not your garments. Turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. As you turn, what will happen? Verse 21. You turn, you repent. What blessing are you expecting? Verse 21. Fear not, O lands, be glad. I rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Yeah. After repentance, it's automatic, it's straightforward. If you repent from the heart, since you are going to repent from the heart, today, tomorrow, this week, this month, for the rest of the year, for the rest of your life, fear not. The fears of the past are cancelled. What's going to happen to me tomorrow? Fear not. I'm going for that interview. What's going to happen? Fear not. I'm looking at the end of the month. How am I going to pay for this and pay for that? Fear not. All you need is repentance. And with that relationship with the Lord, fear not. Be glad. Rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, verse 22, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth a fruit, and the fig tree and the vine tree you do yield their strength. Every tree in your life will blossom. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause to come down for you. For you. For me. The rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat. And the vine shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. The canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty. And ye shall eat in plenty. And be satisfied. You'll get enough and more than enough. And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously, wonderfully, uh, cheerfully with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people, and my people, and my people... 
shall not be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. You will be baptized in the Holy Ghost. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. Look up here for a moment. You know, dreams and visions. There are people in life. They live from day to day. What they did yesterday, they do today. What they're doing today, they're doing tomorrow. There's no dream. There's no vision. There's no goal. There's no ambition. There's no desire. There is nothing in the horizon. Everything is dark. Everything is weariness. Everything is, I live today. I wake up, I eat. I go to work. I come back, I eat, I sleep. Tomorrow, I wake up, I eat. I go to work. I come back and eat and sleep. I eat and sleep. I walk and sleep. No future. The Lord will give you a vision today. Why were you created? He'll give you the vision. What are you to do in life? He'll give you the vision. When there's a dream, when there's a vision, life takes on a new meaning. Life takes on a happy uh, meaning. And then, you know, I'm going for that. I'm looking for that. I'm aiming at that. And all is based on the foundation of repentance. And it says, and also in verse 29, upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, I will pour out my spirit. Verse 32, and it shall come to pass in your life. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Whosoever today, I said, whosoever today, I said, whosoever today will call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. But it's based on true repentance. You see, is there any other kind of repentance? Can somebody say, I repent, and that's not true? Let's look at this. We're looking at Exodus chapter 9. Exodus chapter 9. You know, sometimes you find people that say, I've repented, I've repented, and yet I cannot see the times of refreshing. And sometimes we we'll go out to preach. And those people will preach to you and say, I repent, I repent. Say you are a sinner, I'm a sinner. Say, I turn away from my sin, I turn away from my sin. Say, I believe on the Lord Jesus, I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And then we'll say, now, the Lord wants you to do this. Uh, I'm not ready for that. And the Lord wants you to worship him. I'm not ready for it. The Lord wants you, when you wake up and read your Bible and pray, I don't think I can do that. I have my own church. I'm going to. Repentance. What's repentance? Look at this. Exodus chapter 9, verse 27. Exodus chapter 9, verse 27. Are you there? And Pharaoh said, and called for Moses and Aaron, and said unto them, what did he say? I have sinned this time. The Lord is righteous. I and my people are wicked. Ah, the man finally repented. Look at verse 34. In verse 34, it says, And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunders were seized, he sinned yet more and hardened his heart. He and his servants. That's not genuine repentance. I have sinned, I have sinned. I repent, I repent. I turn away from my sin. I accept Jesus. Uh -uh. That's not it. And when the problem stopped temporarily, the man sinned yet more. Numbers chapter 22. In Numbers chapter 22, I'm reading from verse 32, Numbers chapter 22, reading from verse 32. It says in verse 32, And the angel of the Lord said unto him, unto Balaam, 
Wherefore, as thou smitten thine ass these three times, behold, I went out to withstand thee, because thy way is perverse before me. And the ass saw me and turned from me these three times, unless they are turned from me, surely now also I have slain thee and saved her life. Look at this. And Balaam said unto the angel of the Lord, what did he say? I have sinned. I have sinned. Has she repented? No, he didn't turn back. I have sinned. Look at that verse 34. For I knew not that thou stoodest in the way against me. Now, therefore, if it displeased thee, I will get me back again. I really want to go, but won't you permit me? Okay, you can go. You see, these are the people they say they have repented. That's no true repentance. We're looking at 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. We're reading from chapter 15. 1 Samuel chapter 15. I'm reading here from verse 13. 1 Samuel chapter 15. Reading from verse 13. And Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said unto him, Blessed be thou of the Lord. I have performed the commandment of the Lord. And Samuel said, What meaneth then this bleaching of the sheep in my ears and the lowing of the oxen which I hear? And Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekites. For the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. And the rest were utterly destroyed. And Samuel said unto Saul, Stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord has said unto me this night. And he said unto him, Say on. And Samuel said, When thou wast little humble in thy own sight, was thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel? And the Lord anointed thee, king over Israel. And the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, Go and utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they be consumed. Wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but didst fly upon the spoil and didst evil in the sight of the Lord? And Saul said unto Samuel, Yea, I have obeyed argument. Argument. You know the people, for, to, for you to convince them to finally say, Okay, 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 I've repented. For many things to happen, and for them to finally surrender, takes a long time. That's no repentance. It says, I've obeyed the voice of the Lord, and I've gone the way which the Lord sent me. And I brought Agag, the king of Amalek, and I've utterly destroyed the Amalekites, but the people took of the spoil, sheep and oxen, the chief of all the things which uh, should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in Gilgal. What a good reason. Don't condemn us. What a good purpose. Don't criticize us. And don't say we've not done the right thing. We just wanted to sacrifice this to the Lord. And Samuel said, As the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hacking than the fat of rams. For rebellion is at the sin of what? Of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as what? Iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he also has rejected thee from being king. And so said unto Samuel, tell me. You see that? Okay, okay, Samuel, let us pray. I have sinned. Is that repentance? No. And it says, For I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord, 
and I was because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. And then Bastachi, then he said in Bastachi, tell me what he said in Bastachi. I have sinned yet honor me now. I have sinned yet honor me now. Recognize my position. Recognize my honor and my glory. Recognize my exaltation above the people. I have sinned yet honor me now. And then there are people that will say they have repented and they have believed. And sometimes that confuses some people. The Lord said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will heal their land. I will forgive their sin. And then somebody says, I'm sick and then I repent. Healing should follow. And then you pray and they are not healed. And then you say, Pastor, I'm confused. The people repented. In fact, the people believed. I gave them the word of God and they believed. And when they believed, we pray and nothing happened. Believing is different. It's more than just saying with your mouth, I believe, I believe. Look at John, John chapter 2. John chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 23. John chapter 2, verse 23. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. Verse 24, tell me. Are you there? Verse 24, read it aloud. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. I believe, I believe, I repent, I repent. The repentance must be genuine from the depth of your heart. And the believing must be genuine from the depth of the heart. Look at chapter 6 of John. John chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 15. John chapter 6, verse 15. But when Jesus therefore perceived that they were come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain alone. And eventually they looked for him and they saw him. And then they said, Master, Rabbi, look at verse 25. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? We'll be looking for you. We'll believe in you. Look at verse 60. After I now began to tell them the truth. Many, therefore, of his disciples, yeah, hallelujah. Okay. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to tonight's online prayer meeting. After a long time, we thank God for his faithfulness unto us. We thank God for GCK. And we thank God for all the wonderful things that God did over there at the Alpha location in Accra, Ghana. And all across all the stations online and in various countries and in all our locations. We appreciate God for everything he has done. Tonight we have come together once again and we want to seek the face of God. Please, wherever you are now, we want to begin the prayer. Shall we please bow down our head for prayer as we we'll call upon the Lord? In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Are we hearing my voice? In Jesus' name, we pray. 
Amen. Heavenly Father, we we'll thank you tonight. Thank you, God of heaven, for your faithfulness unto us. Thank you for the demonstration of your might, of your power. Thank you for the way you have been helping us one step at a time. We are almost getting there. Lord, we thank you for how far you have helped us in our journey of life. Thank you for the way you have been comforting us and consoling us in all our challenges. Thank you because you did not allow the powers of darkness to prevail over us. Thank you because you did not allow Satan and all his courts to rejoice over our soul, over our family. Lord, here we are once again. We release ourselves unto you, God. Lord, here we are. We confess with all our, with our heart, with our mouth. We know nothing. We are just but of yesterday. Oh, dear Father, we are praying tonight that you will breathe upon us the breath of your spirit and power. And let there be a manifestation of your glory. Even tonight, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we are praying, oh God, that everyone on this platform, brothers and sisters, men and women on this platform, pastors, workers, everyone connected. Lord, we bring everyone, both men and women, under the mark of the blood of Jesus. Father, we are praying that the blood of Jesus Christ will avail for every one of us tonight, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we are praying that tonight, great will be the work you are going to do in our lives, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Tonight, by the special grace of God, we thank you for those of us that are connected online. And uh, we appreciate God for, the, for our consistency. But thank God once again for the way God has been assisting us. I'm reading from the book of Psalm 107. Psalm 107. I want to read from verse 1. The Bible tells us, he said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Why are we thanking God tonight? Because God is good. If you don't know, you better know it. God is ever good. Even for you to be alive now, as you are hearing me now, you are not in the mortuary, but rather you are in the sanctuary of the Lord. It's a testimony. God is good. We carry our hands, our hands, our hands are functioning. Our legs are functioning. Our mouth can speak and praise God. Our mouth can preach the word of God. Our ears are hearing. I mean, every part of our body is complete. Well, we have every cause to say, God, thank you. And look at those they concluded GCK. It was power packed. It was a great demonstration of God's glory. I don't know how you view it anyway, but I'm telling you, by the grace of God, it was GCK with a difference. It was a crusade with a difference. After the one that we had in Taraba, I think this should be the next one that can say that we have really, really seen the great manifestation of God's supernatural power. Of course, God has been doing wonders in all the GCK, but God did marvelously glorious things. And that's why we want to thank God tonight. We cannot also forget our family members. God of heaven has been preserving our lives, our going out and coming in, our existence, our survival. We want to praise God. He said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good for his mercy and joy forever. Why it not because of the mercy of God? We cannot be here. And that's why this, this night, we are going to lift up our voices unto God. But before that, we are going to sing this song. We want to bless the name of the Lord. We are going to use this song to honor God and to praise God. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord. Oh, ye servants of the Lord. 
O ye servant of the Lord, who stand by night, who stand by night, in the house of the Lord, in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands, lift up your hands to the holy place, in the holy place. I'm blessed the Lord. I'm blessed the Lord. I'm blessed the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Oh, let us praise the Lord. Oh, ye servant of the Lord. Oh, ye servant of the Lord. Who stand by night? Who stand by night? In the house of the Lord, in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands, lift up your hands. In the holy place, in the holy place, I'm blessed, the Lord, bless the Lord, I'm blessed, the Lord, I'm blessed, the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. I believe that there are people praising God here. Yeah. Oh, ye servants of the Lord. Oh, ye servants of the Lord. Lift In the holy day, in the home. Oh, lift up your lift up your In the holy place. In the holy place. I'm blessed, the Lord. I'm blessed, the Lord. I'm blessed, the Lord. We want to worship God tonight, brethren. We want to lift up our voices in any every direction you know you can praise God. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight. Begin from your very self. You are a living testimony. That your life at this time, I'm telling you, is a testimony. That the enemy did not prevail over your soul is a testimony. That the forces of darkness did not, uh, did not, did not, did not, did not have any power over you is a testimony. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to honor God this time? Why don't you open your mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight? Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the adoration. Let's thank him because he's an excellent God. Open your mouth and begin to praise God. He said, let everything that has breath praise God. Are you praying? Go to your mouth, open your mouth and pray. Baba, I shall pray tonight, brethren. Open your mouth and begin. I want to hear us praying. Baba, let's not pray. Let us hear your voice. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's open our mouth and adore him. Let's give him all the glory tonight. Let's thank him. Let's praise him. We join in the presence of God. Celebrate his presence. Celebrate his presence. Glory. Celebrate his holiness. Celebrate his power. Celebrate his function. Celebrate his authority. Open your mouth and begin to praise him. We want to hear our voice tonight. Because he's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the God that has no rival. He's the God that has no competitor. He's the one that raised and rose with the fear of men. He's the great I am that I am. Open your mouth and begin to praise him. He's the God that just wonders in the in their fears tonight. Give all the glory to God. Let's thank him. Let's praise him. Let's adore him because of his wonders in our lives. The wonders of salvation. The wonders of deliverance. The wonders of redemption. Open your mouth and glorify God tonight. Almighty God, I bless you. Almighty God, I appreciate you tonight. I join the host of heaven to praise you, God. I join the host of heaven to honor you and to adore you. The God that is not like you. Oh, that is not that can be compared with you, God. Full of power. You are full of majesty. You are full of glory and honor and authority. Father, we thank you. God, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Oh, keeping God, there is no one like you. I'll find all me. Hallelujah. 
sustaining it. The devil has made several attempts here and there. You know, a project like this, Satan doesn't like it. He want to cause, he want to cause this, he want to bring discord between the brethren. He want to cause disunity and disharmony. In fact, he want to cause a situation whereby we don't have any strength to pray, but we thank the Lord. Because this project is of God. Just like what Gamaliel told the council. He said, if this thing is be of God, no man, nobody can stop it. Nobody, no devil can stop it. And of course, this project is of this God. Project is of they God. want to appreciate God and say, God, thank you for this online prayer meeting. It's a great project established by God, watching that is being watched over by God, that God himself is the supervisor. God himself is the one presiding over it. We want yes. to praise God and say, Father, thank you once again. Thank you for all the personnel that you have been using. All our brothers, all our sisters, all our pastors, all our leaders. Let's give all the glory to God. Let's praise God. Let's thank you once again. Let's say, God, Father, we thank you once again, O oh Lord, for everything you are doing, O oh God, unto us and even all around us, O oh God. Lord, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we appreciate you, God. To you be the glory of God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. I want to pray tonight, brethren, but I want to remind us the word of the Lord. The Bible tells us in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, in verse 14, it said, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Tonight, we want to humble ourselves. Tonight, we want to come before the great king. Tonight, we want to come before our God. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and we forgive their sin and we heal their land. We want to present everyone on this platform before the Lord because God said, he said, dear fortune, I can't be okay that I see no unclean thing. This is a calm. This is a kind of congressional meeting where we come together to pray. And God said, if I see unclean thing, I will turn my back against you. I will depart. But he wants holiness to be there. That's therefore, he said, our camp should be holy. We want to pray tonight and say, God, look into our heart once again tonight. Every pollution of the world, every corruption within and without, any defilement, oh God, let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to obey. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord and say, God of heaven, O oh God, are there something in our hand that can stand as a barrier? Are there something that can stand in our life that can hinder? Even, O oh God, the results, the quick, the speedy answer to our request. We want to pray and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, cleanse us tonight to God. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the Lord. He said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Oh, Lord, we come tonight. Oh, Lord, we present everyone tonight, oh, God. Under the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ, we come tonight. Let the blood of Christ begin to cleanse and begin to punch every stain, every blemish out of our life tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's ask God and say, God of heaven, we are here. Oh, Lord, have mercy tonight. Oh Lord, cleanse us tonight. Oh Lord, point every hand tonight. Oh Lord, begin to make us whiter as no God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord 
and in the power of his might. I know we are just returning back from the crusade. We have labored, we have toiled, we have, we have gotten ourselves involved in diverse things here and there. Six, Six days, days is not a joke, I'm, I'm telling, telling you. you. A lot I'm of, uh, you know, time that we have to be on the road, going to the church to ensure that things are in, the, in, things are in order, inviting people, publicizing and all that. We want to pray tonight. We want to call upon the Lord. Oh God, we have, we have been involved in the work of the Lord. It is time for us to be renewed. That God will strengthen us. He said, finally, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the grace of God. Be strong in the word of God. We want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, renew our strength tonight. Everyone on this platform, the Almighty God begins to strengthen us tonight. He says, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew them. Are you praying, dear brethren? I open your mouth and begin to call upon and say, God, renew my strength tonight, oh God. Holy Father, once again, O oh God, I have come before you tonight. Renew me tonight, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, a fresh anointing, a fresh authority, a fresh power. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let God begin to open the windows of heaven and begin to shower down his grace upon our lives. Call upon the Lord tonight. Call upon the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Please, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Don't close your mouth. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's cry to God and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, begin to renew and refresh us tonight. Every weakness you will take away. Every dryness you will take away. Every coldness you will take away. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God and say, God, renew me tonight, O oh God of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's call upon the Lord, our God of heaven, will strengthen us in our inner man. He will energize us. He will strengthen us in the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I read from Ephesians chapter 6. Please open your Bible with me now. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. And we want to really pray seriously tonight. Ephesians chapter 6, in verse 18. Then I'm going to read it alongside with 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. In verse 18 of Ephesians chapter 6, he said, praying always. And that is what we are doing now. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching dear unto with all perseverance and supplication for God's day. And that is what we want to do tonight. We really want to pray down heaven. We want to bring down heaven upon our soul tonight. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, the book of 1 John chapter 3, I want to read verse 8 there. 1 John chapter 3, in verse 8, he said, He that committed sin is of the devil. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Now look at the latter part there. The, mid, the middle part of that verse, he said, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Tonight, we want to destroy the works of the devil because we have been told that we should pray all kinds of prayer. He said, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And that is why we are here tonight. Number one, we are going to pray every satanic power challenging the anointing and the grace of God upon our lives. Let them be roasted by fire tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. There are powers that are challenging the grace of God in your life. There are powers challenging the anointing of God in your life. You want to ask God and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, all those powers of darkness, all those forces of darkness challenging the anointing, challenging the authority of Christ, challenging the grace of God in your life, let them be roasted by the fire of God tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, brethren. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Let God begin to arise tonight and begin to, you know, continue, con completely consume all those powers tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, arise tonight every power, every force of darkness, challenging the anointing and the grace of God in my life, in my family, O oh God. Let those powers, O oh God, crumble tonight. 
Let them begin to crumble tonight, O God, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, our eyes to go tonight. We pull them down tonight. We pull down all those strong good, all those powers of the enemy. Oh Lord, arise, oh God, let them be, let them begin to collapse, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, have your way once again. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Do you know that what the enemy is trying to do now in this end time? is to reduce many of our brethren to zero level. And I will explain myself. I want you to look into your very life and look at yourself, how you started this journey. Just recall, if you can still remember, how zealous you used to be in the days gone by, how fervent you used to be in the days gone by, how you know courageous you used to be in evangelism, you never give up, but today, so many things are coming between us and God. Don't you know that those things are challenging? They are challenging the authority of Christ in our lives. And that is exactly what I'm telling you. We are going to pray tonight because we are not going to give up all the forces of darkness that, 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 that are you know, working 24 hours. And they are just like something. You know, look at what those, uh, those uh, laws of the Philistine, they told Delilah. He said, study where his strength lies. They want to study where the, the strength and the power and the energy of something lies. And that woman began to walk upon something. Little by little, she, she began to walk upon something. Until eventually he, he took himself to the enemy, to the enemy's hand. We want to pray tonight. All those powers challenging the authority of Christ in our lives. Wanting to reduce the servant of God to zero level. We want to pray tonight. Let them begin to collapse. Open your mouth and begin to pray, brethren. Even though we are very few, on this platform does not matter. It's not, it's not the number that matters. It is how fervent we are. The few faithful ones, open your mouth and pray. And say, God of heaven, tonight, oh God, every stronghold, every powers of darkness, all those principalities and powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, all the spiritual wickedness in every place, challenging the authority of Christ, challenging the grace of God, challenging the anointing of Christ upon our lives, wanting to bring God to zero level. He wants to ask God and say, God, tonight, Lord, I trust in the greatness of your power. Begin to collapse of their kingdom. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Every strange hand pointed at you, pointed at me. Every strange hand pointed and they are saying, Attack him, attack him. We want to pray and say, God, let those hands begin to drop off like the hand of Jeroboam. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, call upon the Lord tonight. Let God begin to arise tonight. Anywhere you are, whether you are in Germany, you are listening to me now, or whether you are there in Lagos, you are listening to me, or you are in America, you are listening to me now. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Let begin to ask God and say, God, shake all the shaking out of our life tonight. Whatever you have not planted in my life, oh God, let your fire begin to move up now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every plant which my heavenly Father of God planted shall be rooted out from the very foundation. From the very foundation, God begin to put everything tonight in the authority of the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want to tell the Lord tonight. Listen to these brothers and sisters. There are so many altars. That the enemy, enemy has, has raised re altars of spiritual coldness, altars of lukewarmness and lethargy. In this end time, that is working against our members, working against even the leaders, even the workers. Uh, let me even tell you this. Some workers, they are now retired. They have retired from active service. In fact, even on this platform, as I'm talking to you now, do you know, it's as if the enemy has started retiring some people from praying. They are no longer praying again. Little by little, they are dropping their sword. Little by little, they are they dropping are their garment of prayer. Little by little, they are not interested in prayer. Little by little, they are saying, they are telling God and say, God, I am tired. As if the enemy is trying to retire them from active service. We are going to pray tonight. 
as many of our people, all the all those strange author that is working against our members, against our leaders, against everyone on this platform. Let those altars begin to receive the thunder and fire of God tonight and be dismantled by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Open your mouth and pray and say, God of heaven, oh God, every strange altar working against our life, working and trying to bring coldness and weakness, dryness and spiritual weakness and weakness to the life of the brethren. We want to pray and say, God of heaven tonight, let the thunder of God come down from heaven tonight and begin to smash everything into pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, life will come into us tonight. Supernatural strength will come into us tonight. Power will come into us. Revival will come into us. God only must begin to inject everyone tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let that power of resurrection begin to work in our soul. Let the power of the power of our Lord Jesus Christ from the graveyard on that day. Let that power begin to work in our life from the crown of your head down to the stone of your feet tonight. Let that power begin to work in me, working in you, working in our soul, working in our spirit, working every one of us tonight. Go to your mouth and begin to pray. Call upon the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Say, God of heaven tonight, oh God, begin to work upon me tonight. Begin to work upon me tonight. In the work of recreation, oh God, begin to recreate everything about my life, oh God, and fresh and anew. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, call upon the Lord. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We are going to tell the Lord. Every evil foundation built by the enemies in our various homes and families. Hmm. Eh, listen to me very well. There are some evil foundations that the enemy has planted, has built in some families. Those foundation is affecting those families. Those evil foundation is affecting the lifestyle of the men, of the brother, of the sister, of the children, of the family. Ah, we want to pray tonight. Every evil foundation built by the enemy in our various home and family, receive the fire of God tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. All those evil foundations, oh God of heaven, tonight that the enemy has built secretly. We want to ask God and say, God, tonight, don't begin to burn everything into ashes. Begin to root out all those evil foundations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, call upon the Lord, brethren. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Open your mouth and begin. I want to hear us praying. Praying aggressively. Praying with all perfect in our heart, in our spirit, in our soul. If you don't have a righteous man, have a little more. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let God begin to root out those evil foundations. Let God begin to root out those evil foundations. Let God begin to root out those evil foundations. Let God begin to root out those evil foundations. Let them begin to be rooted out by fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray. Do you know? Listen to me very well. I need to let you know this. It's a very, very sad one, but I need to let you know. And it's given me concern. Just yesterday, by the grace of God, I spoke with um, one of our brothers in UK, Brother SCN. Some of you that have been in Makoko District, you will, you, will understand, you will know the brother I'm talking about. He was our former student in those days. And uh, we spoke for more, close to one and a half hours. And it, I was telling him, I said, he's giving me concern because the way some, some of our brethren, some strange sickness will just come into their life. They said, this one is having cancer. This one is having this. This one is having that. And then you even observe, the brethren will pray and pray and pray and pray. And it appears as if nothing happened. What is going on? Brethren? Is it nothing to us? Are you not concerned about it? Let me tell you now. John, the brother, by God's grace, that, that, best, that best me when I wedded, as far back as 2003, he was my best friend. We both served together in Niger State. And by the grace of God, God, God helped us and all that. 
but I waited after actually I, I married before him, but the wife that he married he got married to, do you know? Just recently, I think in the month of March, the wife passed on at the age of what 47 years. And I'm telling you, sickness here, sickness here. They will, have, they will tell you this one is having this one. At the tender age, you begin to wonder what is going on. It was not like this, brothers and sisters. In the days gone by, we are going to pray tonight, brother. We are going to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, whatever thing that the enemy planted in our various families, all those demons, all those evil spirits invading the families of God's children, and they're causing a lot of problems, causing sicknesses, causing division, causing affliction. We want to pray tonight and say, God, all those errors will crumble tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I said, God, I you how to pray, how to direct your prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. All the powers, all the first things of darkness invading our various families, families of God's children, causing commotion, causing affliction, causing sicknesses. You want to pray, say, God, begin to drive out all those intruders, all those satanic intruders, all those demonic powers. Begin to drive them out now by the finger of God. He's the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Don't begin to arise tonight and begin to silence every opposition of the devil. Every satanic opposition against the word of God, against our life, against our family life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. All those powers causing division between the brother and the sister. These are the brethren that saw them and say, ah, You are the will of God for me. You are the will of God. And all of a sudden, after many years now, the enemy begin to bring division and begin to bring this harmony. We want to pray tonight. All those powers that have invaded those families, let the hand of God begin to drive them out now. Let the mighty hand of God begin to chase them soul completely out of the family. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we join our hands together tonight. Oh Lord, even to truncate every satanic agenda, every demonic agenda for life, for various families. Lord, all those agenda tonight, we we cancel them, we nullify them, even tonight, in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, God of heaven, all those demonic powers, all those evil personalities that are penetrated to the families, oh God, causing, causing sickness, causing all those, uh, you know, all those terminal diseases. Lord, tonight, we, we cast them out tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, Christ tonight, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We want to pray once again. What Jesus Christ said when he was talking about the parable, parable of the of the sower. He said, "Why men slept? The enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat." You will agree with me that sometimes some of our brethren, they are, spi they are spiritually, they are spiritual. And the enemy tends to have an inroad into their lives, either because of carelessness, talking too much, carelessness in talking. You, be you begin to wonder between brothers and sisters, careless living, and so many other things, little by little. The enemy begins to penetrate. We want to pray tonight that God will wake all our brethren up. The Lord begin to wake everyone up once again. Want to pray, say, God, oh God, begin to awaken every soul that is sleeping. Every soul that is spiritually asleep, oh God, awaken them by your mighty power. Awaken the sleeping giants in us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray now. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Oh Lord, awaken everyone, oh God. Awaken us unto prayer. Awaken us unto holiness. Awaken us unto righteousness. 
awaken us unto study of the word of God, awaken us unto evangelism to the work of to the assignment of God's kingdom. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let love begin to write and begin to visit us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, visit your church once again. Visit everyone by your mighty spirit and power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your hand begin to move once again, oh God. Let there be a restoration of your power. Restoration of signs and wonders for God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want to pray once again, brethren. There are some of our brethren that the enemy is trying to wreck their, their family. He's trying to wreck the family. He's trying to cause confusion in the family. The wife who have known the Lord before, all of a sudden will just turn and, and turn around and say, no, I don't want to follow Christ with you again. I want to go my own way. I mean, the, the, the husband who has been serving God before, all of a sudden will just say, no, I'm no longer serving God again. We want to pray tonight that the mighty hand of God begin to prevail in those families. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray tonight. All the backsliding husband, the backsliding wife, oh God, bring them back once again, oh God. Lord, bring them back once again to the right track, to the way of righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray for them now. What about the children that are wayward? What about the children that are not living according to the will of God? Those children that are living like the sons of Delia, like the sons of Eli, like the sons of Eli, Ophni and Phineas, and the Bible characterizes them as the son of Delia. You want to pray? God, all those children that have gone astray, only must begin to bring them back. Only must begin to bring them back. Or the, the bastarding wife or the bastarding husband, Almighty God, begin to arrest the apple of soul to God. Draw them back once again by your mighty power and bring them back to the way of righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 We want to Amen. pray to the Lord for some of our brethren that are having challenges financially, even among we ourselves here. Financial challenges, you struggle to survive, you struggle to pay your ass rent, you struggle to do this, you struggle. We are going to pray. That life of struggle, enough is enough. We have struggled enough. Amen. It is high time, Amen. God, Amen. begin to arise on our behalf. And begin to surprise everyone. There must be abundance. The God of heaven that opened the eyes of Hagar for opportunity. She's, the well of water was by her side, but her eyes was closed. She did not see it. Not until when God opened her eyes. Not until when God opened her eyes, she now saw the well of water. We are going to pray and say, God of heaven, oh God, the time has come, oh God. Poverty must become a thing of the past. Penury must become a thing of the past. Struggling to survive must become a thing of the past. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. And say, God of heaven, open our eyes to God. To opportunity, job opportunity, employment opportunity, contract opportunity. God begin to bring it our ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, call unto me and I will answer thee. Are you calling upon him tonight? Are you praying unto the Lord? Are you asking the Lord and say, God of heaven, oh God. We do all things are possible. The hand that is upholding the entire world, we are moving that hand tonight. Let God begin to do it tonight. The Bible says, He make it and He make it preach. We are going to pray and say, God, tonight, oh God, if you can do it in the life of Jesus, you will do it for me. You will do it in our lives, oh God. Jesus cried to me, he said, Oh, that I would have blessed me and enlarged my cause, and that I might be with me, and that I would have keep me from evil. And the Bible said, And God granted unto him that which he requested. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, God, all the garment of shame, all the garment of poverty, all the garment of sorrow, all the garment of struggling to survive, will tear them into pieces tonight. Let them be born into ashes tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Let God begin to open the windows of heaven tonight and shower it upon every one of us tonight. You have been laboring with the Lord. You have been, you have been working tirelessly for the Lord. How will God not bless and bless me? How will God not do it for us? Open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord. For God is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. 
We can show up to the same as you, Minika. Father, to say, God, tonight, oh God, remember me tonight. Open the book of remembrance tonight. Open the book of my remembrance tonight, oh God. Let there be a wonder for you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to pray before we round up now. We are going to pray. If you have been on the internet, you understand what I want to say now. We have just concluded the GCK in Ghana. Global Crusade with Kumui in Ghana, in Accra, Ghana. And the next one now, by God's grace, our Father in the Lord is going to Port Novo in, ben in Benin Republic. But let me say this before I do that. Uh, in the course of the GCK in Accra, Ghana, do you realize that some other nations are also they are ready to sponsor this GCK. Mm -hmm. Countries like UK, mm -hmm. like uh, Canada, like uh, America, and some other nations, mm -hmm. they are now waking up. They said, anywhere the man of God want to go, they want to sponsor it. They want to be part of this program because they have seen what God is doing. Mm -hmm. Even though it appears as if members, some of the members of our church, they are ignorant of what God is doing. And that's why I see that when it comes to GCK, mm -hmm. Some will be coming to the church around seven. Some will not even come at all at all. For six days, you will not even see them. You begin to wonder what kind of people are this one. That they don't value what God has given to them. No wonder Jesus Christ said. He said no prophet is accepted in his own country. Look at what God is doing. And yet, we don't seem to value it. But other nations, they are appreciating it. And they say no, they want to be part of it. They want to sponsor this They want to open door that has given unto us. No devil, no demon, no evil spirit, no powers of darkness will be able to close it. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus, Jesus said, no thing will stop it. No powers of darkness will stop it. No powers of hell will be able to stop it. He said, on this cross, I do make sure that the gate of hell shall not prevail against me. Why don't you open your mouth and make that declaration tonight? Begin to make that declaration. Every gate of hell that wants to walk against this CK, begin to let them be roasted by the fire of God now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all the powers of the expansion of God's work, shall come begin to rise and begin to humble all those people there. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Call upon the name of the Lord tonight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 We want Amen. to pray for our Father in the Lord, the convener of Jesus. Okay. This is the man that God has given the vision. And by the grace of God, with all his, um, uh, all his left hands, all our national overseers in various countries, all our state overseers, region overseers, we want to pray for them that the anointing of God as the as GCK is progressing and is uh, increasing in momentum, God begin to advance the anointing and begin to increase the anointing of, of the servant and all the leaders, all our leaders. And we open our mouth and begin to pray for them. They will not be tired. They will not be weary. Holy Ghost begin to strengthen them. Holy Ghost begin to strengthen them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, please open your mouth and pray for this. Our leader, we need our prayer seriously. We need our prayer. We need our support. Your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Pray for every one of them, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, lift up all our leaders, oh God. Including the president of the government 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 of the of I want to call on Pastor, Pastor Victor Ali. Please uh, help us to round up this session, sir. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Pastor 
uh, Shego Owolabi. May the Lord strengthen you the more in Jesus' name. Amen. Before Amen. I call on Pastor Matthew, I want to give a prayer point just for two minutes. Just for two minutes before I call on Pastor Matthew. Mm -hmm. Now, understand that if you know anything about familiar spirits, familiar, where somewhere died, so went to the house of Endor to inquire of a familiar spirit when God refused to speak to him by dream, by Yuri. He went. And the familiar spirit said, why do you come and require for me? Since you have drove us away. And he said, who do you want me to call up? He said, Samway. And he consult the familiar spirits. He brought up Samway. But mind you, it's not Samway that came up mm -hmm. that began to reveal everything to him. He said, <laughs> Because when they so die, they so go to heaven, and they never go to hell to the day of judgment. So there's no somewhere that came up. It was a familiar spirit that was so familiar with the environment, that was so familiar with soul himself, and everything that happened in that in, in his ministry, in his in his kingdom, and he told him everything how the Philistine will overcome and all that and could have rejected him. <laughs> and the familiar spirit told him that. Is going to be with it's him the next day. But I want to bring out something out. A familiar spirit is a spirit that knows everything about you. Familiar. It's so familiar with you. It's so familiar. And that is why we are going to pray against every familiar spirit and every power that is searching, that is searching. Oracle to know your progress. That is what the familiar spirit does. He came out somewhere, so said that I may inquire. Now he came out, began to test some review to some this and this and that. So you are going to practice every power, searching through Oracle to know your progress spiritually, financially, maritally. You are going to pray, oh God, execute your fire upon their head. Hope you might have prayed, call upon the Lord. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Almighty God, Lord, I am asking you to there is, only, there is no need for me to go ahead. Maybe if Jesus study next week, Thursday, we'll continue from here. I will call on Pastor Matthew, please, to take over. Pastor Matthew, please, over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of the Lord, we are going to start the new thing in the prayer line, especially for my own period. And then I, because I see that every one of us, we have a special need. And sometimes we don't mention it. Until God say, okay, maybe we should change the direction again. We are going to continue in that way. And then please do not bother. We are your brother. We are your sister. We are here to carry the body in spirit together. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to be uh, go enter our, uh, answer our prayer in Jesus' name. And then surely uh, we, some of us, I couldn't remember the, I think it's in Ondo State. Uh, someone said, GS, we should be praying for GS 
and then he said uh because gs doesn't need anything from us than prayer you remember what the gs said when he came he said this time around i need your assistant goc need money so if our father and the law can be bold and say that please in the public don't be shy to share whatever you need uh, and the people by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ will be praying for you. Uh, I want to remind us that many of us we have different gifts. We have those people who have the gifts of the prayer. We have those who have gifts of revelation. We have those people who have the gifts of prophecy. We have those people who have the gift of healing. And then whenever people are raising prayer requests, whatever God leads you to, if you need to seize me. When I'm talking, please seize the microphone and pray as God lead them. And but from today, by the power, and we will start from our leader, Pastor Ali. Your prayer request today that is bothering you, or uh, that you are so concerned about that you want God to do. If you can contain one or two people, we will, we will be aiming at some people. But if you can take two people, we will do. So your prayer request today, so that you will be the leader, you will teach people how to uh, present themselves before the people, uh, before the brethren, so that we can pray for them. If you have anything in mind, either from the family, either individually, if you don't have anything in mind, some of us, we lack something. We don't know how to say, help me to thank God, when they ask for prayer request. Help me to thank God that he has done this, he has done this. If you don't have anything presently in mind that you want God to do, if you only that one you want to say that hey, amen to thank God, God is feeding my family, God is providing for my family, God is doing for my family. Do that one, we will pray for it. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. So for today, by the grace of that we are going to whatever be your concern that you want people to pray for, please. If Jesus Christ can, if Paul can say, pray for me. Every one of us will name one thing or the other that we want God to pray for. Yeah. So, Pastor mm -hmm. Ali, it's over to you. Please, whatever you want people to pray for your family, individually, for your business, for any other thing, please present it within one minute. And for the remaining four million people, we pray for you. I see Pastor Chris online. If you are not late, uh, and he will uh -huh. talk for us. Is he there? Is Pastor Chris there? Okay, if not, Pastor Chegon that started the prayer will land up for us. So, Pastor Ali, please, what do you want people to pray for? Ah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. I have an urgent uh, request, and the request is about my wife. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, she, she has applied at the massa, and also God should give her a open door in Chevron. We. Mm -hmm. Uh, in, in Massa, two places now, in Massa and also Chevron. So, we, that is uh, the urgent need now for her. And she has been telling me that we should be praying towards that, and which by the grace of God, we are praying towards that as well. So, please, I want you to pray that God will give her a job in Chevron and also oh. in Massa. Those two places is a upkick. If you are working in Massa, you know what it means. And if you are working in Chevron, you know what it means. So, please, I will be, because, uh, the, the Lord God Almighty will perfect that, 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 that. The people that God wants to use, God will not give them rest of mind. Amen. God will accomplish that through there because Amen. we need a connection. And uh, one of one of the politicians that uh, is, uh, is APC, and we have this, we saw we saw him. I went to his house, we saw him. So he have take the credential, and all. he said we work towards that. So we are going to pray that. People that are concerned that God will touch their heart and use them to connect her to that place of employment. Okay. Let us open our mouth. Pastor Chegon, mm -hmm. immediately I say in Jesus' name, you take up. Let us take up our mouth. 
Let me for our brothers, our brothers, for their family. You know, if it's better for them, it's better for many of us. Just imagine his wife is with Stephen, his wife is with Master Carlo, and then we meet one thing or the other. What are we going to do? As long as his wife is there, then that is a blessed for us. So show your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, pay for beyond pay for. But by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to shower it upon the family in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear brother, my dear sister, I can't see you praying. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, your own way, open way, pay for beyond understanding. Before this politician, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will let them see it in the name of Jesus Christ. Not only, but only because we put Almighty God, the heart of the king is in the heart of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Because it may not even be with this politician, with any other person, God will be in you. Either in that office or somewhere else. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to open way in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. On behalf of this family, that a new thing, a new thing that God is going to do in the life, nothing will stop it in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Put all the all the all the documents, the resume, whatsoever under the blood of Jesus Christ. Under the blood of Jesus Christ. Under the blood of Jesus Christ. Now by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, God will cover all the documents with His blood in the name of Jesus Christ. And as wherever they go, they will receive mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. They will receive mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive us in the name of Jesus Christ. So that it be in Jesus' name we pray. Pastor Shego, and all other people, please always write this prayer down. Anywhere you are there, please continue to put this prayer in your prayer uh, at quiet time. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, from effort, our testimony will increase in this platform in mm. Jesus' name. Mm. Pastor Amen. Jesus, please stand up. Amen. Amen. If you don't have any prayer to pray about it, I don't care about Amen. Pastor Jesus. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you so much for this prayer session. Thank you, Father, once again, because you have given us, you said, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Amen. And while they are just speaking, I will hear. Lord, we stand upon this word of God that cannot fail. You have given us the sure promise to God. Satan cannot alter it. Circumstances of life cannot alter it. The demons cannot alter it. Father, we depend upon this solid word of God. We are praying, O oh God, concerning the hard desire of your son and his wife, O oh God, that need that connection to that Chevron as, as well as that need in Massa. Lord, I am asking, O oh God, you said the desire of the righteous shall be granted unto him or her. Lord, I pray you will grant the desire in the heart of your servant, O oh God, and his wife, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh God, that all that they need to connect with, to be able to get to that place of honor, to that place of glory, Lord, I pray that those people will not have any rest of mind in their soul until they are able to carry out and to, and to do exactly the desire of your servant, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God, we pray for everyone on this platform, oh God. So many requests are written on the tables of our hearts. And maybe we cannot add them now because of time. But you know our hearts. You know everything. You know what have been written on paper. Lord, some are looking for opportunity. Some are looking for one thing or the other. Some are looking for promotion. Some are looking for elevation. Some are looking for wife. Some are looking for husband. Some are looking for children. Lord, what will be the needs of your children? Lord, attend to every one of us all together, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We pray that this online prayer meeting, oh God, 
testimony galore. We begin to flow. Let there be testimony everywhere in our mouth, in our family. Oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you because we know you are. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 So by the power and the blood of Jesus, I, this session will be devoted for that, for henceforth, for prayer request. Pastor, we will be saying it, and God is going to be answered. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Let's share Amen. the grace together. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The Holy Spirit. 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 The we shall see in Vienna Republic. Amen. Amen. We ask them to come to the church and then they begin to say this and that about the doctrine, about the Bible. Shouldn't we repackage our message? Shouldn't we change the message so that all these hypocrites can come in? So that all these fake Fake believers can come in. Shouldn't we change and re-examine what we're preaching, the word of God, and tailor it and kind of alter it so that all those fake people will come in? But 60 again, many therefore of his disciples, when they had this, said, This is an hard saying. Who can hear it? Verse 66, from that time, tell me. If you are not fake, if you are not hypocrite, if you are, not, if you are genuine, any genuine person here in the house today, genuine, going into heaven, who have repented, and you believe the Lord with all your heart.